Hi everybody, it's that time again. It's time for Art is Fun with Nona. I'm Nona and I have missed you guys. I have been a, on a little bit of a break. My daughter had a beautiful little baby girl and so we've been kind of busy as a family welcoming our new addition. I wonder if any of you have new babies at home, if you have a new brother or sister. I don't know, but it's a lot of fun, isn't it? A lot of work too. But I'm back and I'm glad to welcome you again. I want you to grab your pencils and your eraser and your paper. And I've got a great uh, drawing for you today. In our area in the summertime, we have state fairs. And we saw some really cool animals. Uh, lots of the kids raise animals here. So we saw pigs and sheep and cows. I saw a little girl with a cow that was like 1,500 pounds and she was walking that cow around like nobody's business. So it was fun watching the 4-H kids with their farm animals. So I thought we'd try some farm animals for our Artist Fun with Nona. And today we're going to do a little chicken. And since we have a new ad addition, we're gonna make a baby chicken with the egg in it. So um, I think that should be fun. So grab your, your supplies and let's get started with our chicken drawing. All right, let's get started on our hen and chick. Uh, this is one of our, it's a little bit more of a complicated drawing because you can see there's more perspective in it. The animals aren't just looking straight ahead or, um, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful with how we place things. So um, pay attention to where you're putting your circles and everything on your paper. Um, we're gonna have to do a circle kind of like if this is the middle of the page, on the top part of the page, we're just gonna draw, draw like an oval. And that's gonna be the chicken's head. And then we're going to make another oval and this is gonna be the chicken's body. We're gonna cover up some of this oval with wings and whatnot, but this is just kind of letting us place everything so that everything gets a chance to have its own space. Um, after that, we're going to do the tail feathers, and those are going to be ovals too. So we're going to go one, two, and this is just a little bit smaller. So you want them to get a little bit smaller as they go down. And then three. That's going to be the chicken's tail. Then we're going to do the chicken's, uh, the top of the leg, the thigh. We're going to put one just about there, and that's going to be kind of like almost if you the middle of the page but in the lower um, section here that's going to be one leg and then we're going to put an oval that's almost beside this one and it's not going to come down quite as far so i can even make that one come down just a little bit farther because this one goes in the back so it has to appear smaller that's part of what we call perspective now we're just going to make a stick off of the end of this oval, and that's gonna be the chicken foot. Now that's not the right angle. So you know what, I'm just gonna start over with that. Pardon me. We're gonna make it go down about that way. And then we're gonna do the same thing, make a parallel line on the opposite side. We do that a lot, don't we? And I like to make a little spur on the chicken's little ankle there. And then just a couple of toes, we're just gonna indicate a foot there. We don't have to be hyper realistic here and then this foot is raised off the ground because the chicken is like walking or strutting and she's gonna be showing off before her baby so this foot we're gonna make at the bottom of this little oval right here but it's kind of kind of go like if you can think at three o'clock so it's gonna kind of go straight out and not down like that one and then her little foot is gonna be turned out so we're just gonna put a couple little claws on the end of that foot all right now we're going to make our little chick so if you want to go in the very lowest quadrant you come down right under the tail and you'll make a little head right there 
because it's going to be important in this drawing that the eye of the chick is looking at the eye of the hen. So these two points have to kind of connect because they're looking at each other. And now we're going to make another little oval for the chick's body. And now if you can make a number three, we're going to make a number three on the back of the little chick's tail. And then we're just going to put some stick legs on it. We're going to go about, not the middle of the, of the oval, but maybe over here just a bit. And then make it look like it's walking a little bit. We're just going to put like a letter V. If you know how to do a letter V, we'll make a letter V on that. And a little claw to go in the back. Then the other leg, we're going to put at more of an angle. And then you're going to put another V right there. And a little thing on the back, a little spur or a little claw on the back. So we've got everything placed except for the egg. And I thought we'd put the egg right here. So I'm going to make another oval right about there. But this egg is going to be like half open. So we're not going to even use that top part. So then we're just going to make some V's. Make a V this way, a V that way. Like that's like a W, isn't it? And then maybe another little V over here and then make that one kind of long. And then, so we can see the other side, we're going to make little V's and everything over here and that's going to be the shell. Now when you make the end of the shell, if it comes up like that, you're going to have to make this part of the cracked shell right there. And then of course this is going to be erased because we're not going to show what happened to the other half, but you can just bet your britches that it's gone. All right, so now we've got everything in place. Now it's time to get on with the detail and we'll erase some of these lines as we go. Now we're going to make the chicken's beak. We're going to go to this oval on the top here and we're going to just make an arc. And then you're going to draw a triangle on that arc. Now we have to put the bottom of the chicken's mouth. So we're going to put, actually I'm going to make that just a little bit longer. I'll take my handy dandy eraser and get rid of that line that I don't like. All right. Now we're going to make the chicken, I don't, I think it's called a comb on top of the chicken's head. So we're going to do U's up here, right? One, two, and three. It kind of looks like an M. It kind of looks like an upside down U. So that's what we're going to do with that. And then, I don't like that line right there, so I'm just going to make that a little bit, yeah. Just make that a little bit bigger. It always helps to look at your drawing and see if it's going like you want it to. Just kind of step back and see what you've done and see if you don't like it. If you don't, if you find a line or a curve that you don't like, you can always redo it. That's why we got our pencil and our handy dandy eraser. Now we need to give the chicken some eyes. And that's going to go about right there. And I just put a little arc over there just to indicate the other eye on the other side of the head. And then the chicken has to have a neck. We've got to really connect the head with the body. So we're just going to do like another kind of a U shape down here and then another one. And you can even put a third one down if you want. Now we're going to get rid of some of these lines. So I'm going to raise this bottom half of the, the head, the oval that I made. I'm going to erase the upper part of the body because the chicken's head is between um, the body and the neck. And I think we can put like a little line over there for the other side of the neck. Okay. Now we're going to erase this line right here. Hmm like that line right there. 
So I'm going to rethink that. It's okay if you want to make changes. Don't be afraid of that. All right, now let's, now the chicken is going to be looking at the chick. So we're going to put the eyes, make an arc like in that corner of the eye so that it's looking this way. And on the other side too. Okay, now I think actually what I did is, yeah, that looks better. Sometimes you have more issues with some drawings than the other, but that's okay. You just got to look at it and see what you like and see what you want to do. So now we got to make the tail feathers. So we're going to emphasize those outside lines and then we're going to erase the bottom part of the oval. I love this eraser. I think everybody should have one. It's a really good eraser. It does the job and it doesn't make a lot of mess. Um, now we have to do the chicken wing. So we're going to go, like if we could connect this line and this line, we're going to come down here and we're going to go make a line right here. And then we're going to make another line right there. That's its wing. And then come up like that. Now we have some erasing to do. Definitely got to erase the top of the thigh because the top of the thigh is behind the chicken. There's our wing and it's, you can't see this behind the wing. The wing is covering it. And then that one goes too. And if you want to, you can make kind of some little U shapes to indicate like feathers on the leg because these are feathers that cover that chicken thigh, right? And if you want to color in these lines, the eyes, that's always a good thing to do. And the underside of the beak might need to be colored in a little bit because that's kind of in a shadow. So that'll be a little bit darker. That'll make it look a little bit more realistic. Okay, she's excited to see her chick. Now let's work on the chick. So the chick is going to have his little beak. If you want to make that like an M, like that, and then you're going to make another, the bottom of the beak, like that. So if you look at the whole thing, it looks like an M, but it's got like a line that goes from the top of the beak to the bottom of the head. And you can color this little part of the beak too. That's okay. And now I'm going to erase the top of the body because the head is on top of that. Now this eye placement is real important. So kind of look and see where that eye should be because the little chick should be looking at the mama chick. And then we also want to make him looking up at her. And then so make that arc in the eye right there. And then we'll color in the eye. All right, I like that. Now we're going to make the chick, little chicken. He has tiny little wings, so just make a little, a little like upside down M or W, however you want to look at it. And I think he looks pretty good there. And then the egg is done. You can make little spots on the eggs if you want to. And you can color this part in because this is the inside of the egg where the little chicken was. And now it's empty. So that is our chicken, and I think that looks pretty good. Um, the chicken can breathe if we give her a little bit of a nose there. There you go. And I think we're done. So as you can see, the chicken is... I see one more line I need to do. I need to make more of an indentation to the wing. That's pretty good. Um, so our chicken is done, and I hope you had a good uh, time doing that one. It's not an easy drawing, I wouldn't say, but I'm, I'm sure you guys are up to it. If you practice, remember uh, while you're while I'm talking to you, you can pause the video. Don't don't be upset if you make a line that you don't want. You don't have to be perfect. If I can emphasize that enough, your drawing does not have to be perfect. Every drawing is a learning experience. 
So don't get frustrated with yourselves. Uh, some of my children get so frustrated with art that they never did it because they always wanted to be perfect. Nothing is perfect. So just keep doing your best. And the more you practice, and even the more mistakes you make, the more you learn. Because you actually learn from your failures and your mistakes more than you learn from your successes. So just keep practicing. Pause the video. And then once you get it done, you can do a little backyard barn scene. You can color it with paint or markers or glitter. I know glitter is a really popular item. <laughs> and um, we like to use glitter. You can have a glittery chicken. So um, just think about what colors you want to do. You don't have to do regular colors. You can do crazy colors if you want to. And I'd love to see some of these drawings that you do because I know they're going to be great. I have every confidence in you. All right, so this is the first in our barnyard animal series, farm animals. Um, I wonder if you have state fairs where you are. They're a lot of fun and the rides are fun, but my favorite part is the animals. I really like seeing the animals. We've got some beautiful animals to show and the kids really get involved with them. It's really, really great. So I hope you enjoyed that. Next time we're gonna do another farm animal and I wonder if you can guess what it is. You'll have to wait and see what the animal is next time on Artist Fun with Nona, and I'll look forward to seeing you there. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.